third grade, I was told I had a lisp, like the odd boy in my class who was teased for mispronouncing his R's. It made people quickly turn away from me too, as if I was something to stay away from, like broken glass. So I started running. In seventh grade, I put on makeup for the first time, meticulously applying eyeliner for an hour. I was met with ridicule instead of compliments. Instead of sweet, it was sour. You're wearing eyeliner, really? One girl said it looked pretty, but it felt like more of an obligation, something she was supposed to say because maybe it was pity. Maybe it was just an afterthought. Maybe I was. So I continued to run. Two years later, I was still running, spending countless hours between clubs and sports in such vigor, no wonder I would get sick. I just want people to like me, to validate me, to not treat me like some weird chick. I spent my days trying to impress others, but my nights I spent crying, wondering why I didn't have the friends I wanted, the friends I thought I should have, as I was always complying. I followed all their rules. I had the right clothes and shoes. In lies, I disguised myself. What was wrong with me to not have the perfect life like everyone else? I ran from the voices inside my head, the ones screaming at me in pain, in phrases that I was too loud, too obnoxious, too boring. Over and over again. They told me that I was dull, that I wasn't pretty or outgoing, that I wasn't good enough in comparison. So I kept on running. However, things had a way of catching up to me, no matter how fast or how far I ran. Soon I was engulfed by my thoughts and I thought, I can't. There's always someone better than you. Oh wow, you can actually look pretty. You try too hard. You don't know what that means. Are you dumb? Obsessive. You're not good enough. Insecure. Stupid. Why don't you want a Facebook? Not good Do you even like guys? Nuisance. You're not good enough. I had two options, to stay down or continue on, and while I'm happy I chose the latter, I had to teach myself that as much as they hurt, those things I thought about myself just did not matter. Instead, I am persistent. I'm strong. I'm a good friend. I only wish it hadn't taken me so long to realize that. To realize that I don't need other people telling me that I'm good enough, because only I can decide that for myself in the end.